How's it going boys and girls? It is me, the King Dreamer, Lucky B. I'm here with my mate Jacko, and today we're reacting to my favourite channel on YouTube, Studi. His favourite, he loves it. We've got a few videos we're going to react to, and we're going to just enjoy the loose unit that is Studi. Alright, the first video we're watching, Tom Lin, Suspension Ramp. Studi Rants, episode 17. Yes, yeah, let's, let's go now, Studi. Now there's another bullshit suspension going around. And that is the Tom Lynch suspension. Now I know what people are going to say, oh he's injured anyway so it won't matter. Well it does matter because it's a bullshit fucking suspension. Now Tom Lynch just went up in a marking contest. Like he didn't do shit, he just went up in a marking contest. Keith happened to get hurt or whatever the fuck. Not even Lynch's fault, but because Lynch happened to be there they're like, oh let's just charge Lynch. And let's just make up some bullshit saying it's careless, fucking high contact, severe impact. So here's what they did. They sent him to the tribunal and it's a minimum of three weeks apparently. That's fuck. First of all, as an umpire, mm. what do you think of the Lynch situation? Like, Well, to be honest, I, I thought he was just going up in a mark marking contest. I didn't think there was much. There was a bit of contact. I think his arm was up there. Yeah. Just knowing Lynch is like a bit of a dirty player and me not really liking him personally. He always has his arms there like at yeah. someone's head. I think the contact was on purpose. I think it was accidental. Again, I could be a bit biased as a Richmond fan. I think the contact wasn't intentional, but in saying that from the angles, like the clips I saw, he wasn't looking at the ball. So I think that's more where like the suspension came from. Yeah, he wasn't looking at the ball. That's that's a big thing we look for as well. Like, um, as an umpire, we just look for... If you got your eyes on the footy and you get and you knock somebody accidentally, you were going for the footy, it's not your fault. But if you, if you look your, if you look behind you or something or a, a player and then go for them before you go for the footy and you give away a free kick, it's not going to look good for you. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. That should be fucking zero weeks and no one should even be fucking mentioning it. Who was the closest Bulldog player when Tom Lynch injured his foot? How about that you suspend them as well? That's the fucking logic you're going by right now. It's certainly not a coincidence that the two biggest bullshit suspensions this year are Richmond players. Do you want to know why? Because <laughs> Gillian McLaughlin... Hang on, before he gets into that, Nathan Broad 100% should have been suspended for that tackle. It was careless as fuck. But tell us why, Sudi. Tell us why it's bullshit. ...this year are Richmond players. Do you want to know why? Why? Because Gillian McLaughlin is trying his best before he resigns to completely fuck over Richmond. And it's because he is pissed off <laughs> that Richmond won the 2017, 2019 and 2020 premierships when he tried his best to make sure they didn't fucking win those premierships. That's why he hates Richmond so much and he's pissed <laughs> that we continue to defy to the match fixing. Even though oh, Lynch bro. is out for six to eight. Ridiculous. Look, I've been pretty upset with the match fixing as well. Like, we should have beat Carlton if it wasn't for that match fixing. We should have beat Collingwood if it wasn't for match fixing. We defied the odds and beat Adelaide. And then, boy, oh boy, who did we play after Adelaide? No, that was match fixing after Adelaide. It was match fixing against the Bulldogs. Well, I guess the Bombers are winning because of the match fixing so far. There must be. It must be match fixing. Match fixing Bombers. Flag dons. Flag dons indeed. Eight weeks anyway. Anyway, they're going to try to spend him for as long as fucking possible just in case he might come back early and start kicking the shit out of every AFL team. You know, almost winning the Coleman from 18 games like he did last year. They're trying their best to take the best forward out of the game just because he plays for Richmond. Richmond need to stop letting the AFL kick them around. Brandon Gale needs to sue Gillian McLaughlin for everything he's fucking worth. Because Gillian McLaughlin has robbed Richmond multiple games. So dramatic. And Richmond, they've won three premierships, but would have more had they have not been fucking robbed. The day Gillian resigns, there'll be a big fucking party on this channel. Why? He gave you three premierships, you dickhead. I pointed that out on a video. I'm like, so it was match fixing when we won the 17, 19, and 20 flags. And he's like, no, we defied the match fixing. But if, it, if there's either match fixing or there's not, you can't just like buy into it. Yeah. When, when your it, team's going shit, but when your team's going good, it's not. It's yeah, just your when team. It fits narrative yeah you can't change your mind that often and especially the day he fucking dies that will be a huge fucking party oh. and i'll take a big shit on his oh. grave Dylan mclaughlin That's a bit rough. you are a worthless fucking piece of shit oh, I can't get and if me and you were ever in the same God, room i'd paint the walls with your smashed up fucking <laughs> you're a worthless cunt and the suspension hasn't even been fucking decided yet but apparently it's minimum three weeks, but still any fucking suspension is fucking bullshit. You did Bill McLaughlin deserves the worst painful death imaginable. <laughs> he has fucked up what used to be a great fucking game. I only make AFL videos you for views. I don't make AFL videos because I like AFL. AFL is fucking shit. 
fuck the NBA. Watch it, you dickhead. Watch the NBA like you were in that gym. Oh, what a wanker. He's still going on about the Tom Lynch, Tom Lynch suspension. It's been, I don't know. It was only four days ago he posted that, so it's been... It's been a few days before oh, he's actually thought about this and posted this. <laughs> oh, the first half of it was actually kind of good, and then, then he just started swearing and telling people to die. And, I'm going to paint the wall brain, with your, your blood. blood. <laughs> no, he said I'm going to paint the room with your smashed up skull. Jesus, calm down. It can't be that serious. <laughs> You know, me and Studi, we get on like a house on fire. This is a snippet of a conversation I had with him this morning. We were arguing. As you guys on my channel know, I've done this video on him. I said, back to beef, blood, do a vid back at me. He goes, I have more useful things to do with my time. I said, lol. I said, like telling Gil and Richmond players, you hope they die. And he goes, I do, I do wish the worst on Gillen. Don't know where you got the Richmond player part from. That's just a disgusting false accusation right there. I said, not false if there's video proof. He goes, there is no video proof as it never happened. There's more to the conversation. I'd, you guys can pause and read it if you want it. I know you're going to be watching this because you watch my channel, guys, dudes. I'm going to show you, you telling Samson Ryan to kill himself. Oh, you fuck's sake, Ryan. Go fucking make yourself, you dirty fucking cheat. Kill your fucking self, you worthless fuck. Maybe make your bed first. My guy, that... What the fuck is up with that? Samson Ryan, he's only played under 10 games. Like, I think it's under 5 games even. And you've got this high expectation of him. When something didn't go his way, call him a cheat and say that you want him to kill himself. you just got to be nice to you. To the, especially new players. Like, if they miss a goal, like, everybody misses goals. Buddy Franklin misses goals. Like, but the yeah. best goal kickers miss. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's putting all this pressure on this kid who hasn't kicked in front of a crowd more than, like, 2,000 people. And then they've, they've got, like, 50,000 people watching them. It's going to be hard. Hard to kick a goal in front of that. Yeah, exactly. I can only imagine. <sighs> Studi, I'm real sorry for for um, making my video on you. I'm real sorry for the first half of this video where we're just being trash on you. I can't believe he said that bloody Cooper Gretsch has got autism, like Jesus. And he's he's out here acting like that. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? You no, no one to talk about autism, bro. Duty, we're gonna react to your Studi is the best music video. Hopefully this might change a few people's minds and they might be hashtag Team Studi. My cock is pumping inside. What the fuck? Head. Why is she so young? <laughs> moan, baby, moan, baby, louder. Is your mum proud of you? Mmm, <laughs> she comes for me. No, she didn't. She lied. It was a great route, indeed. Yeah. That I'm a mad dog, <laughs> a sick lad, a massive slayer. No, you're not. You're a virgin. I'm a legend at life, yeah. You know what I mean. Why do you I have to mean. go for this one, bro? I bet you think you're good. You bet this sounds... Uh, you think you actually yeah, think this I sounds good. Go wrong. Make your bet! Community's full of moms. Is that racism? Studio's no, the I... best. Don't know. <laughs> Who's that though? Like Studi's the best. Better, Better than all the rest. rest. Better than everyone. You think you're better than everyone? In the in the whole wide world, nobody better than you. The person on. <laughs> YouTube, he doesn't have the time to make his bed. He'll destroy everyone in his way. Bro. He'll tear you to shreds. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shooting me timbers. You will be dead. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> in footy, I'm a star. I'm a gun. I'm the goat. Are you sure? What the fuck is <laughs> My flags, I forgot. How much I won! What a photo. Why is his photos all so like squished in? Like I noticed that with his videos as well. Do you not know how to edit a video ever? Well, a lovely photo though. Lovely photo. He's got a dead trim, but lovely photo. Especially all the BNFs I have won. It's probably more than your age. What? 
best, dude. He's the best. Better than all the rest. So I thought he was like whacking off for a minute. It's just patting the dog, though. Greatest in the whole wide world. You are fucked. You are Excuse fucked. you. You're fucked. If you get in his way, I fucking would beat you up. He'll tear you to shreds. Yeah, come out, Eco. In the end, you will be dead. This is shit. Each time you see me, you get very jealous. Not really. My good looks, muscles, and everything. I like the links, um, I like the links. <laughs> Body wash you got there. That's good stuff. Think what a blow. The hot girls just. Mate, you've, it looks like you've paid them to be in the photo. Are you a. It looks like he's at Movie World. Yeah, what? this looks like. Or is why has this chick got a fucking Illuminati tattoo in the middle of her chest? It looks like he's either a movie world or a strip club. And he's. Or both. Yeah. A movie world strip club. And he's like, yo, can you be in this photo? And then he just like, he just didn't want the photo, so he's just like, paparazzi, man. Fuck him. Don't leave me alone. They're too wet. <laughs> to resist. Yeah, right. They're oh, not. That's making me wet. Mate, you look like a Rezzy's footballer. And you yeah, talking about your BNFs. Better than all the rest. I'm better than I'm speechless. I don't know why I made us watch this. Everyone I've ever met. Chicks are obsessed with me. <laughs> no, they're not. They always want to blow me. How would you sing this thing? It's good. Their knees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's the best part? Adobe stock. <laughs> you couldn't even pay for real images. Yeah, yeah. I do them junkyard dog style. What? Gross. That's fucked, bro. And you're holding your dog up in that position as well. Bro, bro, that's fucked. Oh, I'm yeah, scared. I'm obviously the best. Oh, he's obviously the best, bro. Obviously. Better than all the rest. Better than everyone. There you go. In the whole wide world. I, I bet your parents are proud. You know that I am. Okay. You know that I am the one. This is no oh oh. Shit, bro. <laughs> this is so shit. shit. No oh oh's. Simply the best. best. Do you reckon he's just like sitting in the car on the way to work? Why did you just try and slit your own throat, bro? Yeah, that's tough, bro. Do you reckon he's just sitting in the car, this comes on the radio, and he's like, I'm gonna make this about me? Possibly. Subscribe and comment. No, thank you. We'll leave a comment. Love the muscle, babe. So. Simply the best. Any chance. Better for than some all funny pointers. The rest. <laughs> that's our reaction to Studi. I can't believe it got 1.5k views. That's pretty impressive for such a shit video. Yeah, like, do you reckon it. Surely it's just him watching it a thousand times. That's that was Studi. That's right, I'll help you out. That was Studi, everyone. Um, Please come back to the channel if you enjoy the content. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Please give this video a like if you liked the video. And um, shout out to his sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. They're, they don't sponsor this video, but just a, just a shout out. Peace. <laughs>